Aquarius, it's Power Light too. I'm going to you with the reading. Aquarius, this is going to be what are their two intentions in love, all right? So I hope you guys are all well. And please know, uh, Aquarius, that these readings could be vice versa or back and forth, all right? This could be your person's energy, uh, even though if I'm saying it's you, that type of stuff, all right? So let's see what we have for uh, Aquarius's person. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see how you both could be potentially seeing the union. And in the extended reading, uh, I have a new extended reading now, and we're going to kind of see what your person is willing or unwilling to do for the union. Yeah. And so let's get a couple oracle cards and kind of keep this a little bit fun. You know, we want to have fun over here since you can't go anywhere and really have fun anymore, right? So let's see what we have for uh, Aquarius's, Aquarius and their person. So let's see, and we're going to use uh, the Wisdom of the Chakra Oracle cards here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have. I haven't really been using these too much. Let's see what we have for Aquarius and their person. Prayer. Somebody's saying a prayer here. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, we all need one. Yeah, we all really do. All right, and let's see what else. Miracle. Uh, so one of you guys is praying for a miracle here. OMG. Okay. OMG. This could be you or your person, right, Aquarius? I'm hoping it's your person, all right, because uh, I'm always on the underdog side. So I'm hoping you're not the underdog, kind of. Does that make sense? So let's see. Let's look at your recent past energy, Aquarius. And you have the Queen of Swords. That could simply be you showing up. The Six of Pentacles. Your block is the Nine of Cups. Wow. Judgment is what you want. You want a second chance with somebody. This reading looks like familiar. Yeah, it does. So let's look. Before we put your person's cards out, let's get another deck so we can kind of keep this. Uh, let's just do it like that, all right, guys? Let's look at how you both may be seeing this connection. Show me the energy. Show me that, please. Show me that between Aquarius and the person. Two of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Cups. And the Three of Cups. Okay, this is clear. Yeah, it's really interesting because, uh, you know, you guys probably aren't seeing it the same way. But with these cards, it, it kind of still always, uh, I don't know, it just kind of makes sense here. So, you know, you, you could be thinking, does your person want to reunite with somebody over here? Because you're looking at judgment or you're going back and forth about whether or not you can reunite with this person. I feel like that's what it is. Yeah. Because you're praying for a miracle, Aquarius. You sound really sweet, all right? Yeah, you do, all right? <laughs> you sound like a sweetheart, okay? Yeah. And <laughs> if that is you praying for a miracle, right? And your person could be seeing the situation as they could be, it's possible they are wondering if they can reunite maybe with you or maybe with somebody else. That is the part we don't know yet, okay? Because we know that, you know, these readings are... They just can be challenging because nobody's going to watch, you know. They just are, okay? And we're not going to get all into that, okay, the philosophy. And in the recent past, they not all the time, the recent past was the Wheel of Fortune. So now we're going to stay with this deck, okay, because I've already put this down. In their current energy is the Ten of Swords. Your person's going through some type of a, an ending here. Mm-hmm. Wow. And now we have uh, their current, and the block for them is the Seven of Cups reversed. What they really want or are hoping for is the Magician. And what they are doubting is the Page of Pentacles. Your person's doubting they're not going to have some type of a new start. I just don't know who that is with yet. Yeah, I always say that, right? Because, because these are relationship readings, right? Yeah, if it was like, yeah. So let's look at the Queen of Swords energy, Aquarius. That is your recent past energy. I feel like you were thinking about a Sagittarian here. I feel like you were. Because right underneath you is the Wheel of Fortune. Could have been thinking about uh, maybe, you know, an Aries or a Scorpio here. Or this is you, typically, the star card in the reverse. It doesn't always have to be, though. But I'm just uh, talking about the people who could be in your reading. In the past, you were wondering if you could move forward with somebody or if they were going to pour your cup out, the Four of Cups. I feel like that's what it is. Or if you were going to pour their cup out. Currently your energy is the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. That is your current energy. 
you could be cutting them out because you think they're they want somebody else or they're being sneaky i feel like that's what it is or you're doing that yourself right yeah and the i don't think so though because praying for a miracle i feel like that could be you that could be a person though too right so let's look at the nine i don't think i've ever seen this uh I don't think I've ever seen this combination here from these two cards, prayer and miracle, all right? This is what we need to do for this country and the world, you guys. And if you guys don't think that, it's because you guys don't really know what's going on, what is truly going on, okay? You're not going to hear, ever hear it in the news because that's how they have it set up. So don't make any comments, please. Don't. Let's look at, uh, let's get back to the reading, okay, you guys? But this prayer for a miracle... I mean, you know, we could all use one, right? Yeah. And, but I feel like that's either you or your person, of course, doing that, right? Yeah, praying for a miracle. And I'm not sure what the lemonade has to do with it, all right? But I'm not the author, okay? <laughs> I don't know if I would have put lemons on a card for a prayer, right? But, you know, okay, it is what it is, okay? Uh, the miracle card looks pretty good, though. She's got, like, kind of like an angel here. Yeah, she does kind of a little bit dancing or like, you know, uh, coming up from like, it looks kind of like a tree, but let's see. Let's look at the block, you guys. And the Nine of Cups, Aquarius, is the block, all right? And that is your block, the Wheel of Fortune. For me, there's a Wheel of Fortune in, I'm using two decks, right? God, I'm so, I'm just so like, I'm so smart. <laughs> OMG, you guys, I did that because I put these cards down, right, for the, I just did that by, kind of like by, in error, right? Yeah. I'm not saying I'm not smart, though, okay, guys? <laughs> the block, though, uh, I feel like your person could be Sagittarius. Look, the Wheel of Fortune is here twice, Aquarius, all right? Yeah, it is, right? So in the recent past, they were in the Wheel of Fortune position or in the Wheel of Fortune energy, and your block is the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups. You, I feel like you're in love with the Sagittarian. And if the block is showing up here for you as a nine of cups, that means it's hard for you to attain. It's hard for you to achieve it or get it, right? Yeah, that's what that means. Judgment is what you want. You want a second chance with, the, some, with this person in a rebirth, right? Yeah, you do. Show me the energy. Why is that judgment there? Or you're hoping for that. Yeah, this is what you're praying for. This is the miracle, Aquarius. You're very cute, all right? Super sweet here, okay? You're praying for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay you are praying here that they're okay let's see you're hoping here uh i feel like you just have wishful thinking that's what this is for a second chance with somebody i like your reading though because it's a little bit it's a little bit interesting here right yeah it is can i say that do i like your reading yeah <laughs> And this, even though it looks a little bit sad, though, it does. I, I have to say, yeah, it looks like there's some sneaky stuff going on here. I feel like you want somebody from your past. Yeah, and that's what I mean over here. You could be wanting to reunite with them. Yeah, that's what you want. You want a reconciliation with somebody, and you're saying a prayer. Yeah, don't say any bad words when you say a prayer, all right? <laughs> Shoot, nowadays, these people could be saying prayers, saying, using bad words. That's how the decline in this society, I'm not kidding. Okay, let's look at the star card reversed. <laughs> it's not funny. It's like it's like uh, dark humor, right? Okay, the star card reversed, guys, and the five of swords. <laughs> Don't make comments, all right, about it because they're looking to uh, clip people. Yeah, they are, guys. So let's see what we got. And the five of swords now, uh, the star card reversed and the five of swords. Mm -hmm. this is what you're fearing you're afraid they're going to sabotage you you're afraid you don't have any I feel like you're afraid you're not really going to heal the situation with somebody and I also feel like you're in this kind of like doubt like I don't really have any hope for this this is what I want I'm hoping for but I don't really have too much hope right that's what the, I never say that in readings either I'm hoping but I don't have too much hope <laughs> but I feel like uh and that's why you have the prayer card and the miracle card yeah because you know there's not a lot of hope here so you go I need a damn miracle excuse me I need a darn miracle right anyway damn is not a swear word I feel like it's in the bible <laughs> right it is right plus damn is like you know it's a water it's a water reservoir <laughs> Okay, guys, you, you're like, okay, <laughs> let's see. The Wheel of Fortune's in the past for them. Let's, let's call them out right now, Aquarius, if we can, all right? Because I'm on your side. 
Even though this person could be Sagittarius and I'm Sagittarius, all right? Yeah. That's how nice I am. <laughs> no, that's kind of how silly I am, really. Okay, Ten of Swords, guys, in the past. Okay, your person has a Ten of Swords in this deck, too. Yeah, they do. Right next to it. So I'm going to put this deck down so, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. Just didn't really want to mix cards here because it makes my job harder, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's look. In the recent past, your person could have been a Sagittarian who went through a really harsh ending. They could still be uh, dealing with these Ten Swords. I'm not kidding, because in their current energy is a Ten of Swords. Let's get a card for your person. Let's get a card for your person. I feel like you feel like you can't have this person because they're cutting you off for a third party, for somebody else. Yeah, that's what's going on in this reading. And now we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Wow. So your person in the recent past, they, I feel like they felt blocked or something like that. Or they couldn't have any progress with somebody because of some type of a harsh ending. So this sounds like your person's in a union with, or they're like, they want somebody who is maybe not available. Yeah. Ten of Swords is in their current energy. Maybe somebody from their past. This is kind of how this looks. It's also possible that they went through a harsh ending with you in the past. Yeah, maybe. Maybe because they thought there was, like, it wasn't, you know, maybe you guys weren't making progress, maybe as a, a couple, right? Okay. So currently is the Two of Cups for them and the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, your person could definitely be Sagittarius, right? Yeah or Aries here, but we see the wheel twice. So currently, they look like they are broken up. This could be you with them, though, but they're going through some type of a harsh ending, or they, ha or they have... This could be saying they have gone through the hardest part of some type of a breakup. Yeah, that's what the Ten of Swords is. another card on your person. Your person who could be a little bit shady. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this Queen of Wands there in the reverse? Let's see here. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. Your person here, I feel like they're not putting in the effort with you. I feel like because they're going through some ending with somebody else. I feel like that's what that is. Mm-hmm. Let's see, why do they have the Eight of Pentacles reversed? Maybe uh, this person that they, they look like they want to be with somebody else. That's kind of how it looks. And it also looks like they, uh, whoever they are trying to, maybe your person's have, uh, saying a prayer for a miracle. They could be too. Because they look like they are like, they have gone through some type of an ending with, of an ending with somebody and that now uh, they're kind of in the reverse here themselves about it the tower reversed and the emperor your person they look they look like they they kind of look like they have gone through some type of a really bad ending with somebody and that now they are kind of taking steps to rebuild with somebody it could be tower in the reverse and the emperor wow it could be an aries here too Seven of Cups is their block reverse. Let's have a look at this. This is a little bit complicated. Yeah, I feel like it is. Partially because you are uh, dealing with somebody. This probably is your ex, Six of Cups. I feel like you, you still want your ex, but they're wrapped up with someone else. And that somebody else they're wrapped up with is wrapped up with somebody else. Yeah. There's too many, too many wrappings here. Yeah. There's too many characters. Seven of Cups reversed. Two of Swords. This is your person's block. Your person could be uh, dealing with a situation where their person has too many options. Uh, they could be... Also, maybe your person wants somebody to make a decision here. Two of Swords, and that's in their block. The Four of Wands. But for some reason, your person... They could be at a stalemate about a situation. But your person here, that what's blocking them here is... Uh, they want some union here. Four of Wands. They do. For me, it looks like your person wants somebody else to like make a decision and choose them. 
They could be saying the prayer for the miracle. The magician card is what they desire. Let's see, or they hope for. The moon card in the reverse and the seven of pentacles. For me, your person wants to manifest something with somebody. Mm -hmm. There could be a water sign here too, the moon card here. Uh, the moon card is interesting because it can talk about cycles, right? The moon, every time the moon comes out, it's a new cycle. Yeah, it is. Or not comes out, but when we have a full moon, comes out. <laughs> comes out to play. Okay, comes out of the sky. No, it comes, you know, uh, every time we have a full moon, the energy changes and the chapter, it's a new cycle every time. That's why people are so affected. They're like, wow, this is really strong energy. For me, your person wants to like, they want some kind of a harvest with somebody. Yeah, I feel like they do. I feel like your person is hoping that they're going to have a new beginning with somebody. That they can manifest some type of a new cycle with somebody. That's how it looks. It's really interesting here. And this, this, I, I don't think I've seen this card uh, combination uh Often or not at all. Let's see what else they're hoping for. Yeah, they want somebody here. Uh, like, they're hoping something's not going to end with somebody. The death card in the reverse, you see? Mm-hmm. Wow. And in there, right? In there, I feel like I'm doing a reading for, for like, for four people. Yeah, you and your person. And them and somebody else and another third party, like a fourth party, yeah. So let's look at the Page of Pentacles, and this is what they are doubting or fearing. Let's look. Yeah, they're afraid, they're doubting that, that this person that they want is not going to leave their person. For some of you guys, they could be doubting you're going to walk away, but I don't see that in this reading. I, I really, I don't feel that here at all. And your person here, they're doubting, they're fearing somebody's going to walk away, and they're not going to have a new start with somebody. So we're going to go over to... The extended, they're all on a new platform, you guys, and they're reliable. Yeah, the links are good. Yeah, totally. And uh, all that is below, right, in the description. And we're going to find out the current dynamic between you guys, how they are seeing the connection, uh, uh, Aquarius, sorry, and how they really feel about you, what they are willing or unwilling to do for this union. And that is going to be a tell-all. I feel like it is, right? And also what you don't know about them and their true intentions, right? Thank you so much, Aquarius. They're all super affordable. If you need your own reading, you can always get one, yeah? Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, wishing you guys a ton of power and light.